Okay, a little bit more with the, with the reflected light. I'm going to play this up even a little bit more with a little uh, cat orange. Looking very carefully and just superimposing little scumbled strokes on top. Cat orange directly into there. Okay, at this point, phase 11 uh, background variation. Uh, mind you, you could have considered this earlier on. These, these phases don't necessarily have to be in the exact order, as I've mentioned, but dealing with back, background variation, background in the back, and actually the foreground, surrounding space, varying this, it's good to take some of the tonalities and colors that exist within the subject and move them into the neutrals that are in the surrounding area. So in that case, I'm going to have some cools over here. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, gray, blue, brown. So this is a cool neutral over on this side. Then I'm going to let it filter over into a uh, warm neutral. And I'm going to allow this to mix right on the surface, taking some cad orange mixed into what I have down already and it allows some of that warmth to move around. And here you can even have a lot of fun, you know, scumble, do little dabs, you know, allow the brush stroke to, uh, you know, add a richness to the piece and a sense of movement. And here what I'm going to do is allow some of this to merge over shared value and maybe do a few little dabs to soften just a little bristly points when they hit the detail they soften the detail and they can also be used to soften an edge. I could use my finger also like I've showed you in other pieces. Uh, then down here I'm going to move into more of a cool. So I'm going to use a little, uh, alt a little bit of titanium white 